Hi, and welcome to Nextux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll be giving you a brief and quick overview of a couple custom effect stacks that I've uploaded to Caden Live. And these are designed to do some basic color correction, color grading, and secondary color selection. Uh, they're quite simple, so this is going to be a very brief overview. And then later, I'll make a more in-depth tutorial uh, diving into these. So let's get started and take a look. Now, first thing to do, let's go inside of Caden Live. Let's go to Effects. And at the top here, we have this little down arrow. This is to go to the option to download new effect templates. And we have quite a few options. You can search for the effects that I've uploaded by simply typing in LM. And what we're going to be focusing on for today is going to be the color correction, color grading, and then secondary HSL. So to download these, simply hit the download or the install button. Let's go on install. And then finally the secondary HSL install. Now it will install them very quickly. Next, if we go to the star over here with the little pencil, inside of templates is where your effects will be stored. If they're not showing, simply restart Caden Live. Once we've restarted Caden Live inside of the star and template, we're going to have the LM Basic CC, LM Creative CG2, and LM Secondary HSL. Okay, so I've imported a, a still frame and we're going to switch over to the color workspace since we'll be working with color correction and color grading. And with the clip selected, I'll go inside of the effects and I'll click on LM Basic CC, so for color correction, and it's going to add all of these effects over here. So basically this is simply a custom effect stack. To clean up the workspace, I simply collapse them and turn off the keyframes. If you need the keyframes, you can leave them on or turn them on afterwards. So over here we have, for starters, the white balance where we control the temperature. If we had a uh, white or neutral gray element in the image, we could simply grab the color picker or we can do it manually ourselves. You can use the vector scope and the other uh, scopes here to gauge what you're doing. Although these work from top to bottom, you can change them in whichever order that helps you better see the results that you're getting. Now, full disclaimer, right now I'm working on a non-calibrated display, so there's a low fidelity. All right. So essentially, you would simply correct the white balance of your image using this effect stack. You can change your saturation, you can control the brightness, the dark points, the shadows, etc. And get the image to a, a good baseline, if you will. Next, we have the LM Creative, so the color grade 2. Now, if you don't see the 2 on yours, don't worry. It's probably because I've updated this. Now, usually the color correction, I would apply it directly to the clips inside of the project bin and then do the color grade on the timeline or such. So inside of the LM Creative, let me collapse all of these first. At the bottom here, you can see we have a LUT applied. You can turn this off and do some of our corrections. You can move the LUT up or down, however best fits your the image that you're working with and the results that you're getting. Inside of the LM Creative, starting under Levels, we have the Color Balance. So you can choose to add certain colors in the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights. A video Equalizer is the equivalent of having your saturation, exposure, contrast, and level all inside of one, uh, one effect. We have the curves. So for example, over here, we have this red here that's peaking. If we simply wanted to target that, we could grab the curves, add some points. Now I know it's moving around. This is simply for demonstration sake and drag this down a little bit and then we eliminate this hotspot over here. Uh, we have the lift gain gamma. So you can use this to, well, color grade your footage really, right? Feel free to add more effects that work for what you're going for. Then we have the tint. Now I've set the tint to black and white and I've dropped it down to zero. If you were to reset this, you would see it's black and green and it has a value of 250. I did this so that it doesn't influence the image right out the box. Now, of course, you can add things like um, film grain, denoiser, sharpen, etc. Next, we have the SOP saturation. This would allow you to control the different channels from red, green, blue, from the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So up here we have the highlights, so the slope, the midtones would be in the offsets, and then we have the shadows over here inside of power. And then finally we have the LUT that we could apply to our image. 
Now, right now it's doing quite a horrible job on our image. All right, so enough about that. And finally, we have the LM secondary HSL. And this right here, a bit more complex, is to allow you to grab or modify specific colors. For this one over here with secondary color selection, we can grab a color from our image. And if we turn off the mask apply down here, you get to see what is being selected from your image. Now, since I've removed the base color correction, the selection is not as good as it could be. And basically that is the idea. This is to allow you to grab specific parts of your image and then you can use, for example, the lift gain gamma to affect just these parts that you've selected or these colors. And this is great for grabbing skin tones and working with them. All right, you also have the Gaussian blur over here to blur a bit of the selection that you have and transparency to control the intensity of the effects that you're adding. So if I were to add this and lower the transparency, you can see here, or rather increase the, the transparency by lowering the value, you can see how it is affecting it less. All right, and that is it for these. With that, it should be enough for you to understand the other effects available. All right, so that is it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This is Nuxtux Creative Studio. I'll see you next time.